What's up, everybody? It's Kyle Nitro for Nitro Maniac TV's wrestling channel, and today on the line we got a special guest to talk about the big, huge pro wrestling YEG event, April thirteenth, twenty nineteen, at the Nate Maiden Gymnasium here in Edmonton, Alberta. It is one of the most hotly talked about uh, charity fundraisers in the Edmonton area for a while. And on the line is Mr. Michael Avery Cook, who is the guru, the head. Poncho, the big salami, the prez, the everything of the pro wrestling uh, YEG event. Michael, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, Kellen. How you doing, man? Good, good. Uh, really excited about this event and this card coming to Nate on April 13th. But first, uh, give us a little background info. How did this event come to be? Yeah, this one has been in the works for a couple of years now. We were thinking about something for my company, Mike Cook Media. Like we could get involved with that would have a little bit of scale to it would be a lot of fun to put together and something I had a background in and of course for me uh, coming from having wrestled with the PWA here in Edmonton for the better part of seven years and also with Stampede Wrestling down in Calgary it's been a bit of a layoff but it was uh, it's nice to come back and see all those people again and put something together and we're really happy with the uh, response so far and uh, we're really excited where it's going to go what was the initial uh, thought process leading to uh, a, a of, of this event, uh, I know that you guys had a, a had a, a, a tentative uh, date to kind of uh, get this event rolling last year, and then just due to all the, I, I guess the the drama with the uh, Edmonton Boxing and Wrestling Co uh, Commission fiasco and everything, it kind of got put off a little bit. Yeah, there might have been an opportunity to still get it together last year, but I think after we had that layoff, it was just decided it would be better to wait the year and let that commission uh, business all kind of sort itself out. But for us, yeah, we were looking for something that was just, like I said, something that was fun and something that had good impact for the community. And that's why we've decided to partner up with Kids with Cancer Society. And they've been a great partner in this the entire time. And uh, the cool thing is they're handling the ticketing page and the donation pages. So it's there's no middleman there in terms of the money. So as far as people get involved, I feel like there's very little risk. And 100% of our ticket proceeds go directly to the Kids with Cancer Society. So we're really excited about that. So Kids with Cancer is just an awesome charity. And they... Uh you know, do so much with kids that are afflicted, unfortunately, with cancer and that stuff. Because no child should have to go through uh, what these kids go through, I guess, on a daily basis. Uh, you know, just for uh, basically survival and that stuff, going day to day. Uh, these kids should be back at school. They should be talking wrestling with their friends. They should, you know, be playing Pokemon Go at recess or whatever. <laughs> you know, kids do these days. Uh, they shouldn't have to be worrying about like neuroglastoma or leukemia or anything along those lines. Yeah, absolutely. And when you think about that, it's not just the kids that are going through this horrible, horrible time in their lives, but it's also the people around them, their parents, their sisters, their brothers, all these uh, members of the family. They're also dealing with the emotional and physical baggage that comes along with doing this. Uh, we've been really fortunate to hear from a lot of people that have been touched by the Kids with Cancer Society since we announced this event and just people sharing their own stories. And we also uh, just recently did some work with the Kids with Cancer Society uh, for their uh, Beat It Journey Gala, where we talked to a family from Fort McMurray who uh, returned from the wildfires, and a month later, their daughter was diagnosed with cancer. And so they were making a weekly trek up here to Edmonton just for the treatment. And you can imagine what that does to people, just having to make that drive every single week, having to figure out accommodation, parking, all these sort of things. And that's what Kids with Cancer Society is really set up to handle, is to take care of all these things that people don't think about, but they just add up to such an immeasurable emotional toll. And uh, once you talk to people about their stories with the Kids with Cancer Society, it really becomes quite clear why this organization needs to exist and why it needs to be supported. Now, of course, you're involved on this card as well. You're involved in uh, it's the main event matchup with uh, Michael Richard Blaze, and you've been out of the wrestling business for... Uh, a little bit yeah that's kind of jumping back into the deep end we're talking about a guy who not uh, less than 15 16 months ago went 30 minutes with cody uh at the uh, pwa christmas slam 2017 here in edmonton um your thought pattern and your your uh, just your your mindset going into this match well it's a really simple uh reasoning is this i don't back down from a fight when michael richard blaze slapped me in the face uh that put me involved but make no question about it michael richard blaze is the premier talent here in alberta western canada maybe the entire country he's probably the best kept secret in professional wrestling right now in my estimation uh his conditioning is through the roof his strength is fantastic his uh he's 
he's young, but he's such a well-seasoned veteran already. He's been doing this since he was 15 years old, trained by TJ Wilson, Tyson Kidd. Um, you know, so he's basically an unofficial graduate of the dungeon in my estimation because he has that same kind of training that is just it's not even ex doesn't really exist in this uh, business anymore. So he's almost a throwback while also being this new school. Uh, versatile can do every style kind of wrestler so I mean there's a lot to take in in a match like this um, but I've been training really hard I've been working my ass off to be ready for this and uh, come April 13th I'm gonna be ready to go have you wrestled him before Michael Richard blaze absolutely we go when he was first breaking in with stampede we uh, we tagged together and we also fought each other and then he also was uh, I was actually the one that brought him up here to Edmonton for the PWA mm. so he was part of the Gristopia national team when I was with ravenous randy myers so him and brandon van danielson were actually brought into pwa by me so it's coming full circle now uh something like 11 12 years later uh excited scared nervous confident your goal is 30k what are we looking at for a fundraising total as of recording time right now yeah well as of yesterday we hit 8500 dollars raised, so we're well on our way to 30k uh, if people want to get involved, they can buy tickets at ProWrestlingYEG.com. It's a $30 ticket. 100% of the money goes directly to the Kids with Cancer Society. Plus, you get a charitable tax receipt, so win-win. And we're also encouraging people to log in to fundraise. And our top fundraiser actually gets to go home with this, which is the Pro Wrestling YEG Community Championship. It was made by Wildcat Belts, who make WWE's belts, so this thing is legit. And on top of that, our top fundraiser also gets lunch with WWE Superstar Tyson Kidd, a.k.a. TJ Wilson, on the show date as well, so that's pretty cool. It's super heavy as well. That belt's got to be about 10 or 12 pounds. That is yeah. a legit wrestling belt, everybody. We're not talking any replica that you could buy at the WrestleMania Superstore or anything like that. This thing is the real deal, the full enchilada. Yeah, the guys at Wildcat do amazing work. They did a great custom belt for us, and we're really thrilled to be giving this away to our top fundraiser. And just quickly before we wrap up... Um, the amount of support from former, uh, I guess, PWA and just Alberta wrestling legends for this card has been through the roof. You talked about TJ Wilson, but there are a number of former stars that uh, uh, we haven't seen in PWA or any other promotion uh, for a while that are coming back for this event. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, one thing I really enjoyed about putting this event together is that I really wanted it to be collaborative, both from the community of YEG in general and also in the wrestling community. So we reached out to a lot of former PWA stars that were more than willing to come back and uh, come back for one more night and put their things to uh, put their skills towards the the event. Guys like Azrael, Drago, Punishment, Sergeant Hazard, uh, Danny Manners. There's a bunch of them, and it keeps going on and on. So it's going to be a neat little mix for. Long-time PWA fans uh, to see some familiar faces. And for newer PWA fans, we're also going to get to see their uh, the PWA stars that they're familiar with, as well as some new faces for them. So it's going to be a pretty cool mix of everything on uh, April 13th. We're really looking forward to it. I've compared it when I've been explaining the event to people as it's kind of the Alberta independent version of the NHL All-Star Game. You're going to see stars from... Uh, you know, the past five years, the past ten years, and you're going to see them go head-to-head -head with some of the current group of today and see what they've got and what they can bring to the ring in just all-out wrestling excitement on that Saturday night. Yeah, I mean, if you look at PWA's history, there's a pretty cool background and a pretty cool roster that's been in the all-time roster with that company. And, I mean, we can't bring back everybody, and a lot of people have gone on to, you know, much bigger things like mm -hmm. WWE. But uh, we're really excited to have some of these familiar faces back for one night and on top of it just to do something really amazing for an amazing charity. Yeah, speaking of, Jinder said hello. <laughs> he, he did? He did. All right. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> for you sure. Got, got a chance to run into him in Phoenix for a little bit, so that was, that was a good deal. But anyway. Um, good yeah, Michael, thanks again for uh, jumping on board and telling us about this event. Again, April 13th. 2019 Nate Main Gym. It's Pro Wrestling YAG. Again, website for all the ticket and donation info. Yeah, head to prowrestlingyeg.com. That's where you can buy tickets, register to fundraise, or sponsor someone that's already fundraising. And of course, you guys are on Facebook too, and I guess like that for all the match announcements coming up. Absolutely. We will be announcing the card pretty soon here, so stuff's really coming into shape. We're just under six weeks away from the event now, so it's going to start really rounding into form here for the last month. Right on. Uh, thanks again, 
Mike, and best of luck with your match with uh, Michael Richard Blaze. Again, that's going to be, uh, I think, that's got match of the night potential, dude. And, you know, best of luck. And it's good to see you back in the wrestling ring. Hey, thank you very much. And thank you for having me. For sure. I'm Kelly Nitro. Later days. Happy wrestling watching. And we'll talk to you next time here on Nitro Maniac TV's wrestling channel. And go check out this website and go support, 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 support. The kids need it. And it's going to be a great time. <laughs>